Hi, it's Fitcha from Sawmate. Welcome to my channel. I'm going to be showing you how to make these loose sweatpants. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please do. And make sure to turn on your notification bell so that each time I upload new videos, you get notified first. You will need a basic pen block pattern to do this. I've got a tutorial on this channel on how you can make one. I'll leave a link in the description below and the link above as well. So first stress around your block making sure to mark all your notches and the dots. Lift your block, draw in your dart, hip line, knee line, and ankle or hemline. Draw in your brain line. Coming to the hip line, we're going to come out by 2.5 centimeters. 2.5 put a mark, extend your hip line further to that point. Just extending my hemline there and the hip line as well. Now with my meter ruler I'm going to square a line down to the hemline from the hip and square it up further as well. Make sure this line is squared. Now measure the distance you have here and we're going to transfer a third of that to the front crotch. Extending the knee line and squaring a line up using that point. Extend the line further down. Now coming to the crotch point, we're going to lower it down by 1.5 centimeters just to increase a bit of ease there since this is a loose pant. So we lowered our crotch point 1.5 centimeters and squared the little line across. With your curved ruler, join these two points, like I'm doing here. Now blend this new lowered crotch point to the crotch curve, like I'm doing here. Coming to the front crotch, we're going to extend our line a little further and we're going to square a line up using the hip line like I'm doing here. I'm just marking my seam allowance at the waistline side seam there one centimeter down and I'm going to use that point to square a line across like I'm doing here. Make sure it's squared. Measure your elastic width. Mine is 4.5 centimeters, so I'm gonna add it twice to our new squared waistline there. So 4.5 first, another 4.5, and an extra three millimeters at the top. We're going to repeat the same at the hemline. Since we're using the same elastic width, 4.5 first, second section 4.5 again, and the extra three millimeters. Now to making our pocket, first we're going to go in by 16.5 centimeters, put a mark and square a little line down. Then go five centimeters down along the side seam from the newly squared waistline and put a mark. This is going to mark the beginning of our pocket opening. Now measure 13 centimeters from this notch and put another notch. Then from this second notch, we're gonna go down 10 centimeters and put another notch. This will mark the depth of our pocket. Square a line across like I've done and square another line down using the point that we marked before. Now I'm drawing my pocket. 
from the second notch. I just noticed there that I made a mistake. I put it slower. It should be from the second notch. Adding seam allowances right around the pocket. I'm using 0.7 centimeters since I'm going to be using a sager for this. You can put whatever you want really. Now I'm making the correction for my pocket. I just noticed that I made a mistake there. First line should go to the second notch. And second line will be your seam allowance. So we went five centimeters down to the first notch and across we went 16.5 centimeters and down 10 centimeters from the second notch which is the end of our pocket opening get a fresh pattern paper and put it under your pocket we're going to be tracing it out using the tracing wheel just follow through the outer edges there like i'm doing here Make sure to mark your notch is there for the pocket opening. This is very important. Now get your pattern paper and just cut around the pocket following through the tracing wheel marks that are there. Just outlining the notches for our pocket opening there and adding the grain line. Then labeling my pattern piece, pocket, cut four or cut one pair and i put my initial now cutting around the pattern adding notches to the pattern extending my original grain line to the top and bottom of the pattern And labeling the pattern, front paint, cut one pair, and I put my initial. Our front paint patterns are finished, now moving on to making the back pattern. Trace around your block like we did with the front, making sure to mark all the notches and the dots. Lift your block, draw in your dart, hip line, knee line, and ankle or hemline. Extending the lines a little further there, drawing in my grain line. And we're going to go out at the hip line like we did with the front 2.5 centimeters and lowering the crotch point down 1.5 centimeters again. So 2.5 centimeters out, put a mark, get the meter ruler and just square a line down and up to the waistline as well. Extending the inseam out the same amount we used with the front extending the line there for the outer seam and squaring a line back up to the knee line and down a little further as well lowering our crotch point down 1.5 centimeters and squaring a line across now blending it back into the crotch curve like i'm doing here now join these two points with a curve ruler Just extending the hip line there a little further and squaring a line up using the hip line like I'm doing here. And just smoothening the calf here. And 
using the notch that we have for our seam allowance at the side seam there one centimeter down we're squaring a line across like we did with the front now we're going to add our elastic width again like we did with the front 4.5 centimeters first another 4.5 centimeters and an extra three millimeters now repeating the same steps at the hemline adding 4.5 centimeters first another 4.5 centimeters and an extra three millimeters we're not gonna use any darts in this pattern same with the front cross your dart out now depending on the way you're going to be sewing your pocket pieces you may need to transfer your notches to the back pen pattern as well so i'm just showing you how to do it here but with my method i don't need them really so you're just going down again like we did from the squared waistline five centimeters put a first notch and you're going to go down 13 centimeters and put your second notch that's it adding all the rest of the notches and extending my grain line both at the top and bottom and labeling my pattern back pant cut one pair and I put my initial cutting around the pattern and our back pant pattern is finished as well so all our pattern pieces are finished now we're moving on to sewing now moving on to sewing our pants what you need are your completed patterns your fabric your elastics one for the waist your exact waist measurement and two for the ankles which is your exact ankle measurement as well and your cutting tools for the fabric i'm using a camouflage fleece fabric okay so now let's start cutting our fabrics All our pattern pieces are cut and ready to sew so the first thing we're going to do is to assemble our pockets to the front pants now with the right side of our front pants facing up we're going to align our pocket pieces lay them down with the wrong side up make sure to match your notches for the pockets that we put there on the pattern Now take this to the sewing machine and sew from notch to notch, which is our pocket opening. Just do a straight stitch there and do the same on the other one. Okay, so we've done that. We've stitched our pocket on from notch to notch, which is our pocket opening. So the next thing we're going to do is to clip our notches to the seam. Clip your notches to the seam, but make sure not to cut through the stitches there, okay? Turn your pockets to the wrong side of the pants. Next, we're going to go ahead and give this a top stitching from notch to notch again. I'll use one centimeter for both. Let's go and do that. Okay, now, so we've done the top stitching for the pockets here and our pocket is now sitting nicely inside the pant with the right side up like this. So next you're going to take the other set of pocket pieces. Make sure you've got the right one for the right pant, okay? So we're going to put it on top of this one. Match it up nicely. Pin along the edges. I'm going to be sewing most of the sweatpants with the overlocker so I'm just gonna take this to the overlocker and we're just going to attach both the pocket pieces together so start from one edge all the way around until you come back to the seam allowance here okay let's go and do that okay now so we have managed to sew our pocket bags together like this 
so the next thing we're going to do is to attach these two pieces to the side seam from the notch going up and we do the same from the notch going down within your seam allowance when we finish with that we're gonna go to the right side of our pins and we're going to sew with a straight stitch joining our seam here to the corner we do the same down here join the seam to the corner with a straight stitch let's do that for both okay now so this is how your pockets are supposed to look like now okay and we have a seam allowance here to attach to the back pants so first we're going to pin our pockets back like this so that we'll be safe not to catch them whilst we're sewing Grab your back pieces and lay them on top of our pen patterns, matching the side seams with the right side facing down and we're going to pin along the side seam. Next pin along the inseam as well and do the same with the other leg. Okay, so now take this to your sewing machine or sage or whatever you're using and sew along the side seams and the inseams. Let's go and do that. Okay, now so we've done that and I'm going to take one leg now and turn it to the right side. Put your hand in and we're going to put it inside the other pant leg matching our inseams make sure your seams are facing different directions to avoid bulk and we're going to pin along the crotch seam Okay, now take this to your sewing machine or sage and just sew from one end of the crotch all the way to the other end. Let's do that. Okay, now so we finished sewing our crotch seam and it's nice and neat. We're gonna put this on the side and we're going to bring in our elastic. So take your waist elastic, overlap by about one centimeter and join it here, okay, with a zigzag stitch. Do the same with the ankle ones overlap by one centimeter and join with the six x stitch for both let's do that okay so this is what we have now we're going to divide everything into quarters so we'll use this join and put a pin put a pin on the other end join the two pins together and we're going to pin along the sides here put this on the side repeat the same with the ankle ones now get your pant back and we're going to put it into quarters as well for the waist and for the ankles okay so for my waistline, it's easy because I've got four seams already, two for the side seams and two for the crotch seams. So I'm just going to match my elastic with that. So now with your pen wrong side up, get your elastic and we're going to match our four seams with the pins that we have here. The easiest way is just to get your waist and just put it through the elastic like this and match all your four seams. Okay, now we go to the ankles, 
or to the hem. We've got two seams here, so we'll put the two pins against those two seams and then we're going to put the seams together like this and we're going to put two pins here. Repeat the same with the other one. Now get your elastic and we're going to put our paint through the elastic like we did with the waist and match our seams and pins at the top edge. Okay now so that's done. Now I'm gonna go to my sedger and just attach these two together at the top here. So what we'll be doing, we'll be stretching each section to fit the elastic as we go along. We do the same at the legs here. We'll be stretching each section to fit with the elastic corner there. If you are doing this on the sewing machine, make sure to use a zigzag stitch or any other stretch stitches you've got on your sewing machine. Let's do that. Okay, so we've done that and the next thing we're gonna do is to roll our elastic inside the pants. Make sure to match your seams for the crotch and the side seams and pin along. Next, turn your pants to the front. The most important thing you have to remember is that we're going to be finishing the top edge of our pocket at the same time we are sewing off our band here, okay? So make sure that your pocket is going to be inside the elastic band. You can pin along to make sure that you don't miss anything. Now take this to your sewing machine and we're just gonna do three rows of stitching along the waistband, making sure to stretch as we go along. Repeat the same with the ankles as well, okay? Okay, now, so my pants are finished and we attached the pockets at the top here as well, which is nice. And at the ankles, it was a bit difficult for me to access so I can put the other rows of stitching. So I'm happy with that anyway. And my sweatpants are finished. And I'm so happy with the result. Thank you.